So we've got here another exponents problem, and this one calls for a good old guess and check. If you happen to have your exponential tables for base 2 memorized, great, but I'm guessing you don't. So here's what I want you to do. Take a look at this equation right here. We're going to solve this equation and figure out what x is. But we don't need to know exactly what it is, just kind of approximately. So I want you to do some guessing and checking. And here's where we're going to start. 2 to the tooth power. What is that? Well, 2 squared is 4. And 2 cubed is 8. And 2 to the 4th, that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, is 16. And you can see we're nowhere near 119. So we can rule out some of these things. x is not between 2 and 3. x is not between 3 and 4. This is what I mean by guess and check. And you just keep going. Now, as you get the hang for these sorts of things with uh, how big a exponent you need on 2 to make it into a triple digit number. Some of these might go quicker, but let's just work through them. 2 to the 5th is 32. 2 to the 6th is 64. And feel free to use your calculators for this stuff. 2 to the 7th is 128. And I want to stop there because look what just happened. I overshot 119. 119 is somewhere in between these guys. So I don't know what that's going to be, like 2 to the 6.8. Who knows? It's going to be some decimal. And the point is, it's between 6 and 7. That's the sweet spot right there where you get 119 if you take 2 to the x power.